Today, I want to share with you the question of whether parents should live with their children after they grow old. Andy Zhang, 62 years old, is a mother of two children, a boy and a girl. Her daughter is Mary. After retiring, Andy Zhang initially moved in with her son and his wife. However, a year after retirement, Andy Zhang packed her bags and returned to her hometown, never getting involved with her son's family and refusing to live with them. Let's take a look at Andy Zhang's story. My husband passed away 10 years ago, and since then, I've been living alone. When I turned 60 and retired, my son was worried about me being lonely, so he invited me to live with them. I thought it was a filial gesture, so I agreed. I moved in with them, and at first, my daughter-in-law treated me well. We got along fine. She often greeted me and told me not to do too much housework, suggesting I go dancing, take walks, or chat with other aunties outside. But after some time, my daughter-in-law started asking me to do more chores. It started with helping with cleaning and escalated to cooking and eventually doing all the household chores and looking after the children. I thought my son wanted me to enjoy life in retirement, but instead, I found myself working as an unpaid maid doing everything for their family. Before retiring, I had plans for how I wanted to spend my retirement. I wanted to dance in the square, raise a little dog, grow some vegetables, and enjoy a peaceful life in my hometown. Then, I'd catch up with old friends over tea. But reality turned out to be cruel. Instead of enjoying life, I ended up being a servant to my son's family, with no spare time for myself. One Saturday night, while I was cleaning, my son and daughter-in-law casually mentioned taking a four-day vacation, leaving me to look after the children. They didn't even consider how I felt about it. I was furious. All the responsibilities at home seemed to fall on me. While they enjoyed their time together, I was left to handle everything alone. Whenever I wanted to visit friends or take a break, there was always housework waiting for me. It felt unfair that their lives were so comfortable while I worked tirelessly for them. I spent days contemplating and finally decided I had to live for myself. So, I told my son I was going to visit an old friend for a few days and let them manage on their own. My daughter-in-law was upset, accusing me of neglecting my duties. But I was determined. They couldn't stop me. I returned to my hometown and finally started living the retirement life I had envisioned. I do things I enjoy every day, and I feel fulfilled. I realized I couldn't keep sacrificing myself for others. I've already dedicated half my life to my son. It's time for him to take responsibility for his own life, instead of relying on me. There's a saying in the countryside, when the tree grows big, it's time to split the family. Children should leave their parents' home and start their own lives. Regardless of financial matters, what truly determines a happy family is love and filial piety. Many elderly people believe living with their children can provide security in old age, but they often overlook the conflicts and burdens it brings. It's better for parents not to get too close to their children. While it's important to care for and help each other, constant togetherness can lead to problems. There should be a balance between closeness and distance. Singer Andy Lau once said, Don't dwell on what your family has done for you or how they treat you. Your duty is to do your best to help them. As children, we should be understanding and forgiving towards our parents, even if they treat us unfairly. Family bonds are irreplaceable. Let's strive for harmony in our families by being open-hearted and magnanimous. That wraps up today's sharing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, you're never alone here.